Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 8th to the 14th of June 2020. I hope you are Virgo. So I'm just pulling an overarching tarot card. This is the Tarot of Dreams to see what the message is for you for the week. Okay, we have the card of Scorpio. Death. This is the Phoenix Rising card. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guide message for Virgo. A twist in the tail, the unexpected, a change you did not see coming. It's interesting because this is change too. Okay. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Virgo. I'll come back to those cards, Virgo. I'm just going to put the cards on the table. We have listened to your intuition and we have success. Whatever this change is, I do feel that there is success at the end of this journey, Virgo. But you're being guided here. Let's see what else we have. So I'm using the Radiant Wise, <clears throat> right, sorry, the Radiant Spirit, the Radiant Rider Weight. <laughs> Try and get my words out. The Radiant Rise Away, Rider Weight <laughs> Spirit. Oh my goodness, you know, I'll give up. You kind of get what I'm saying. It's the Radiant Rider Weight. I feel it's a bit of a tongue twist. <laughs> Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. <clears throat> Thank you. There you are. There you are. This is you. First card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. So your challenge, Virgo. We have the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> the Seven of Pentacles is the advice from spirit. And... The Five of Cups is your outcome. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Virgo. So I'm going to clarify the cards, go deeper into the message, Virgo, with the Gilded Tarot deck here. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Virgo. <clears throat> Thank you. Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles clarifies the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Pentacles is clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. And the Five of Cups is clarified by the Star. Lovely. Knight of Swords is bottom of the deck. So, Virgo, we have change, unexpected change. A change you did not see coming. This can be linked to the death card, card which can be about deep transformational change here. Um, it is a card of Scorpio. It's a card of the Phoenix Rising. It is shedding an old skin, burning away what isn't needed anymore for you to rise in your own light. But in order to do that, there needs to be an acceptance of endings, drawing a line under something. I feel some of you may have had a shock or some of you may have had some sudden news or some sudden change in your circumstances. You know, this can be about money and finance. It can be about relationships. Um, I mean, there are some money cards on the table. The pentacles can link with both, but I'm kind of feeling it's possibly more towards money and career in particular. Messages, you didn't see this coming. And you know, this could be linked with COVID-19. It could be linked with the fact that some of you could have had challenges in your money and career. 
maybe in terms of your job security because of the the big impact that obviously that situation has had on a lot of people this can be that sudden change but I do see this big turning point here because we have success you're being guided listen to your intuition it's a time of rebirth it's a time of you rising in your light letting go of what's gone I feel there's an element here of, of now is the time to listen in to your intuition your your intuition is your internal gut instinct it's not something that comes over a few minutes it's something that is immediate and it's something that stays with you it doesn't really waver it doesn't change form it doesn't change its opinion it stays with you in the back of your mind almost in your gut in your instinct now so this is absolutely about trusting your instinct in whatever this is because I do feel that you have the power to turn things around to transform this situation for the better there is a level of success here <clears throat> so Virgo this is you and the Ten of Swords could be the unexpected change that you might not have seen. Now the Ten of Swords can be what you needed to heal from. And we have, you see, it's interesting, these swords are going into somebody's back. They don't see it coming because the swords are going into somebody's back. So this could have been something that could have really been difficult to get over. I will say this is equally as much in relationships as it could be in terms of money and career. Um, it has been difficult to move on from because this hurt so deep, this cut so deep. And yet the hermit energy is introspection, finding answers from within, illumination in understanding how to move forward in your external environment. And that has been your biggest challenge to move on from whatever this Ten of Swords was. It is a completion card. It is an ending. And this is a message of the answer is the wisdom that you're finding from within with your own internal energy. This is about making sound judgment calls and acting upon those answers and your intuition in your external environment now because the illumination is meant to be acted upon. But I do think this is you. <clears throat> we have the two of pentacles and the wheel of fortune so we have capricorn and jupiter um you don't see how to move forward i mean some of you could have been destabilized in your finances in your job in your career whatever this ten of swords was whatever this unexpected change was you could have been destabilized um thrown off balance winded it's like one of those fast bowls, you know, and you don't see how to move on from it. You don't see the opportunity that's around you right now. This person is so focused on juggling what they have, that could be your finances, that could be, I mean, sometimes this is, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul. And um, this can be just something as destabilized you. That could be linked to your money, your career in particular. Could be to do with your home. Could be to do with a solid relationship or a relationship that you thought was solid, secure. <clears throat> something has destabilized you here. And it's almost kind of like you don't see the way forward. You don't, you don't see how to move on from it. And yet the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. It is a message to say there is always divine timing, divine orchestration around each and every one of us. Even though you don't see the whole picture, the divine does. And there is divine orchestration always going on. And it's like now is the time for you to embrace the good fortune. Now is the time for you to embrace some good luck in your life. 
but this person I mean it's Capricorn in Jupiter they're not allowing the good luck the good fortune to come in because they're so focused on what has destabilized them they're focused so, so focused on the immediate issue and maybe on this ten of swords and grappling with the instability in itself they're, they're not seeing the positive energy that's around them now this is expansion growth good luck good fortune I do feel that there is such opportunity here. This is very good in terms of money and career in particular, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it is linked to your destiny. If some of you are seesawing, uh, wondering how to move forward, maybe having an idea or struggling to make a decision or choice here the answer comes from within because the advice from spirit is saying good things come to those that are patient here and there is a level of patience that's needed here Virgo uh, certainly with the seven of coins this person has put in so much work so much effort and yet they're not getting any growth for the work that they do. Sometimes this can be, am I getting anything back from the time and effort I'm investing into this current job? Am I getting anything back? Am I getting the equivalent reward for the time and effort I'm, I'm investing into this relationship? You know, and it is the evaluation card that you need to evaluate the facts of the situation now it's almost like you're being given the answers from within and stirred in the direction of looking at things in the cold light of day and say right the facts are what am I getting a reward back on here for my time and energy and where do I need to focus my time and energy more and where do I not need to focus my time and energy because the four of pentacles can be that Saturnian energy the, the little devil on your shoulder sometimes stops you from moving forward out of fear, out of doubt, out of uncertainty. So they stay right where they are. Some of you may be evaluating a career situation, a job situation, could be a relationship like I said. And this is about don't hold on so tight to something that it stops your growth here. This is about considering what are you getting something back on now and basing your judgment on that evaluation. Focusing your time and energy on what is going to bring you greater growth. That might well be looking at new job opportunities. That might well be starting at your own business venture and don't let the fear hold you back here. That might well be uh, reviewing your relationship. You know, whatever the Ten of Swords, something has hurt you pretty deeply here. And I feel this is about how long can I, can I spend focusing on this instability? How long, can I fo uh, how long can I spend on focusing on what hurt me? It's almost kind of like you're being told there are bigger things that you need to focus on now. And that is where you need to focus. There are bigger and better things that want to come into your life now. And you need to really evaluate and listen to your internal wisdom on how to really move forward in this situation to greater growth, greater value, greater success. And because the success is here, the success card is here, I'm kind of feeling this is slightly more business and career, but it won't be limited to just that because it is a general reading. <clears throat> so we have an Aquarian card and the Five of Cups. So there could have been some, this can be loss that could have involved in Aquarius. We have Gemini as well. So for some of you that could mean something. But I also feel, Virgo, that the Five of Cups is all about focusing on what uplifts you, 
on the opportunity ahead is focusing on engaging with the present and the future now having a new vision a new hope a new dream and standing in your truth I mean the star is about our truth our true selves our true light when we accept endings when we burn away that which we don't need we shed an old skin our true light is revealed and I certainly feel Virgo that it is your time to step into your truth into your light now find your vision new hope new dreams and move on from whatever this loss was this is a real visionary forward moving card it is also a card of divine blessings linked with this wheel of fortune you are being blessed you are being guided towards a new path here this is focusing on a new hope a new dream this is about dare to dream now because there's a message here that you are being blessed you are being guided this is the divine wish fulfillment it is time to focus on new hopes new dreams new wishes and take action towards that find direction take action towards that now and move on from looking back this is a powerful turning point for some of you this week because as soon as you accept the inevitability of something ending of what this change was however unexpected it might have been that's when you open up to what the universe really wants you to open up to everything it wants to bring into you now you know Capricorn and Jupiter you have Jupiterian energies here and um, sorry Jupiter and Capricorn you know the Aquarian energy of now is the time to open up to new possibilities and new vision and make that journey from looking at the past to looking at the present and future and I do feel this is absolutely getting back on your feet having a thought an idea getting the clarity and the direction that you're making the decision that you need to make now in how to move forward move on from whatever this ten of swords was I'm going to pull one more card of what's next Virgo What's next for Virgo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Did one turn over? One turned over. <laughs> A new beginning. We have the Ace of Coins as well. New opportunity. I mean, this could be linked with your money, your finances. This can be focusing on what brings greater stability, security into your life. This is a forward movement card and this is what the Wheel of Fortune is all about because as we have an ending we have a new beginning here Virgo and you know the Wheel of Fortune is that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings it's a 10 so maybe you feel stuck in the middle of that you know that that seesawing energy maybe some of you are feeling stuck in between endings and beginnings as well this is in your conscious reality this can be a person coming into your life um, this can be we have Aquarius and Gemini here and um, this can be an opportunity coming into your life this is about you putting your energies in bringing new value into your life more than anything and it comes from finding the answers from within and evaluating where you really, really need to place your time and energy now and don't let fear or doubt or insecurity hold you back yeah don't, and don't cling on to what's what's gone for fear of the unknown yeah because I do feel for some of you that this is so much better a golden opportunity the golden coin is absolutely beautiful a new door this is focusing your energies on a new path I'm going to pull a final card to finish off the reading What do we have for Virgo, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for Virgo. <laughs> oh, 
look we have the ladybird all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard luck is on your side mm, beautiful very much in line with the wheel of fortune and some of you aren't seeing it you know you're not seeing it it is about focusing on those new hopes new dreams dare to dream now Virgo and take action towards that vision and move on from what's gone because there's something better ahead I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time thank you